owning a motorcycle and not riding it is like an itch that you do not scratch. Not a very pleasant feeling, is it? Of course, I ride my motorcycle a lot, but there is always that urge to go on one more ride. As soon as I'm done with the road trip, I want to ride a trail. And no sooner than the trail is done, I want to do a road trip. And the cyclic story continues. Here I am, off on another trail, somewhere near Shulagiri. And to be honest, I don't know the name of the place I rode to this time. Perks of riding trails is one doesn't have to know where they are headed. This trail ride involved riding to a small peak and then through a good technical trail through forest area. In this part, we will ride to the peak and explore the place. In the next part, we will do the technical trail. When passing through villages to hit the trails, I have this uncomfortable feeling that we may get an earful as it can be quite annoying to the villagers to see aliens pass through their village. Well, at least that is what we would look like to them with all our riding gear and fancy motorcycles. On the contrary, it is very heartwarming to see some people admiring our motorcycles and waving at us. So long as we ride slowly, without disturbing their life, the villagers won't have any problem with us. A year ago, when I bought my motorcycle, I didn't know I would get addicted to trails. Does that mean I'm not more into tarmac riding? If you have watched one of my first videos, I mentioned that I wanted a motorcycle for 80% road use and 20% off-road use. And that holds true even today. If we take distance into account, most of my riding happens on the road. The thing about tarmac riding is that most of the national highway rides are uneventful and the only reward that keeps me going through the highways is the destination. Cart sections or twisties are different. Suddenly the mindset changes from reward of destination to I want to ride more of the twisties. A similarity between trails and twisties is the in the moment mindset. Trails are fun. Trails are where all the action is. Every moment is a different challenge. The terrain changes constantly. One has to be wary of speed, body position, distance for braking, ground clearance, etc. And that requires one to be focused and in the moment. One has to be extremely focused, be able to predict what would come next and be prepared for it. On the contrary, it is so easy to get distracted on the highways because there isn't much happening. So much so that sometimes people doze off when riding on highways. Whether highways or twisties or trails, I'm really happy and grateful to have made the right choice of motorcycle. The KDM 390 Adventure X. We started our climb to the hilltop. I kept some distance from the riders ahead so that I could enjoy the trail at my pace. This time, I'm riding with two chetas, Sahir and Jasir. I got to know these two thanks to the wonderful brand called KTM. I shall explain this in the next part. The climb got steeper and more enjoyable by the moment. It was a short drive to the top and we made it there in no time. 
I was happy to have ridden at a good pace without any struggles, which means my off-road skills have improved. On the hilltop, we came across this natural cave-like formation and we decided to explore it. It was a steep climb on foot and unfortunately, we were all wearing riding boots which made life more difficult for us. Nevertheless, we pushed on. I think exploring is in our DNA, which is why we end up in places like this. Nature is such a mystery. Whenever I see boulders like this, I always wonder what kind of events would have resulted in such beautiful formations. Why is it that such huge boulders are found on hilltops? How did they even get there? There is a temple on top. Yeah. Suddenly, I was shocked to see plastic bottles strewn all over the place. I wondered if people would have consumed alcohol and thrown the bottles there. As I went close, I noticed that they were not alcohol bottles. Sahir told me that these are discarded bottles of oil used to light a lamp located at the top of this rock formation. We humans are so strange. We worship an invisible god and destroy a visible nature. Anyway, the party piece was this huge boulder which was doing the balancing act from time unknown. I thought to myself, what a great place to watch the sunset. From here, it was the descent which would lead us to the train. Subscribe to my channel to watch one of the most insane trains I have ridden. Thanks for watching and listening. See you in the next episode.